fucking him. Hair grow with these things. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Boss. Nice. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, I think we have, uh, I'm just going to ask like one question, just to get things going, and I'll throw it to you guys, and then we can get some of the poets up here just to see. Yeah. Just a few. Uh, all right, so, guys, do it. a lot of folks here don't know the kind of journey and the story of what it was from you guys first encountering these very talented young people mm -hmm. into what we just saw on screen. Can you give us the the personal version as to what, what happened, how you got involved, what grabbed your heartstrings so much to go, I'm going to dedicate four years of your life? To five. Five years of your life to make this film? <laughs> I'm counting. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be a long road, I think, to when you're finished. But just tell us about, because um, you were in film school, mm -hmm. right? And most film school students I know kind of get into making docs and have a very small topic, make a short film, and then think about making a film. And then this thing just kind of happens. Yeah. Mm. And it was an unusual for me to discover the film the way it did because of where it came from mm. and also what it was saying. But uh, from your point of view, what was it like mm -hmm. to start this crazy journey? Um, well, me and Dan met in third year and we'd done a, a, we met the group. Um, we did a lot of work in, in Chapel Town and Hales and in Leeds in the communities. And, 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 and so through that, that work that we were doing, we met the Legion authors. Mm. And me and Dan were in third year and we needed something for our final project. And, and so we decided to do a short film about them, which documented their slam in Leeds, just, just the UK slam. And we were, you know, over the moon with, with, with what was happening. And uh, we were so enthused by the whole thing that we, as soon as we'd finished uni, we just couldn't wait to finish. We literally mm. wanted to just carry on with this film because, um, you know, we'd met this amazing group. And um, so from there it just grew and grew and grew and we had a... We just generated a really good relationship with them and um, you know, became good friends and we could respect each other and what we were doing in our own crafts. Mm -hmm. And until we got to the point where uh, me and Dan could, could travel with them to America and I mean, you actually want to know the personal <laughs> grip. <laughs> the first, well, the, 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 yeah. the first thing was that we took out a bank loan, went down to the bank, went, look, we want to, we want to, well, we didn't tell them we want to make a film. <laughs> we said, oh, I just said I want to decorate my house. <laughs> but and just took the money and then um, we went out to America with them and, and yeah, I shouldn't really say this. I keep on saying it. And, uh, and, and we, when we, basically these guys were saying, look, Brady Voices is amazing and you've got to get to it. And we were already um, amazed with what was happening in Leeds. But they said, no, it's, it's just huge. And when we got there, we were blown away. And we, were, we weren't really prepared for it. And that was our first year that we went with them. And we used that footage and we used that story and that energy to then develop a, a short 20 minute promo of the, the basic story that we want to tell. Right. And then we used that um, promo to then receive some more funding. Um, and we, we were lucky enough to win an award um, at the Leeds Met Film School. Um, and they, they gave us some money and that would enabled us to, to finish it. And we went out with them again. And that was, that was the, the big time. And we had a wow. with them. So. So the, f the first time we went to America was in 2007, yep. so, yeah, mm. a long time ago now. And uh, it w in fact, we, when we, we missed our graduation ceremony because yeah. it was <laughs> Saturday day uh, for the first, the first time that we had been to Great New Voices. And I, I mean, by then we, we knew that we had found the characters that could, you know, tell, you know, could, could carry the story. Uh, we, we understood the content that we were looking for, but it wasn't really until we got to, to Great New Voices when we realised, you know, the, the sort of the scale of the movement in, in itself, you know. Uh, it's one thing to sort of hear great poetry in England, but then to sort of to gauge the, the level of um, you know importance that, that it has to, to, to a lot of these kids all over the world mm. is what kind of bring is, is what I, I suppose inspired us even mm. more to try and you know dedicate a bit more time to make it into some kind of a feature feature film. Um, and it really it was just very very gradual and organic. Um, yeah. You know, in between going to America twice, we, we, we were filming with the guys. We were, uh, we were, we were taking. We were, constantly at their slams, we were kind of going to their training sessions and, you know, and, and we kind of built up this long-term relationship, which I, 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 it seems like it appears like that on screen, I think. Mm -hmm. It feels quite, yeah. hopefully quite personal, quite natural. Um, and that's really how the film kind of came about. It was just, it was over a long period of time and we, we, we still worked on other projects at the same time and that's one of the reasons why it took so long to kind of yeah. edit. But uh, it was, yeah, it was a long, a long yeah. graduate. We, did that, we just did that journey with them. It was less, you know, we were filmmakers and but we, we tried not to be filmmakers. We just were with them, experiencing that journey, and just going with it. And we were when they were all crying, we were crying. And when they were, they were doing the slums and stuff, oh, well, it, was, it was hurt from the camera. I was just pulling my eyes out. <laughs> and uh, but there was 
there's, there's times in America where just like, look, we've got to put the cameras down and just enjoy this because it mm. is mm. something else. And, yeah. um, the, and that's what it, like, where that's voice is that the atmosphere of the place is, is incredible. Mm. Um, it, and you know we try we try to crowbar in a lot of the energetic shots to sort of get that message mm. across. You know you use fancy music and everything to try and you know illustrate the you know the sense of energy and and, uh, and, and fun there. But it, yeah, it's, it's like the classic cheesy saying that you know, you've got to kind of be there to really kind of you know, get a sense of it. But it, it's like amazing. Really. Yeah. it's an amazing thing. That's the toughest thing to translate that energy onto the screen because we've been so long trying to find a way of, of showing that energy in a room when a poem's happening and in, in a slam. Yeah, there's just a certain thing and everyone's kind of feeding off the words and as it's building and just trying to put that onto screen is so difficult. Mm. I think you did a pretty good job, I think. You did mm. <laughs> <laughs> to a degree.